Okay, my presentation was about the presence of asymmetries in the relationship between the price of oil and the price of gasoline. The idea is the following. Lay people commonly think that oil companies and retailers typically push the price of gasoline up very fast when the price of oil increases, whereas they are a bit lazy in reducing the price of gasoline when the price of oil decreases. So the idea is to investigate whether this perception actually is in the data or not. That's the main point. Uh, in order to do that, we have used, I have used uh, uh, econometric models, that is statistical models, uh, which are able to verify the presence of this sort of relationships. And if we found, uh, as uh, say a summary of our result, that uh, the presence of asymmetries depends uh, on a number of factors. Okay? Those factors are typically the frequency of the data, okay? Uh, the type of uh, uh, stage in the transmission chain you're considering, that is whether you're talking about the upstream, that is the relationship between the price of oil and the wholesale price of gasoline, or you're concentrating on the downstream part of the relationship, that is the relationship between the wholesale price of gasoline and the retail price of gasoline, that is the pump price of gasoline. Okay? I think there are two policy suggestions. Okay, the first one is actually related to where you find asymmetries. Uh, asymmetries are typically explained in terms of the presence of market power. Okay, so if, for instance, you find asymmetries in the downward part of the relationship is uh, when you're talking about the relationship between the wholesale price of gasoline and the retail price of gasoline, the downstream part of the transmission mechanism, well, this means that there is some market power which is being exerted by retailers, okay? So if you want to avoid asymmetries, you have in some sense to mitigate that market power, okay? And the second point is, uh, well, when you try to forecast, as we did, the price of gasoline, it is important also to choose which are the important variables uh, helping you to forecast the, the price of gasoline. This is very important because accurate forecast of the price of gasoline may help decision makers. Okay? Uh, oil is actually a very important explanatory variable, but you cannot think about only oil. Okay? You need to extend the number of explanatory variables to a certain extent in order to fully capture which is the dynamic of the price of gasoline.